Oh, uh, no. <laughs> All right, so I was just flat out denied to somebody joining me. All right, so we've got Hiku versus Dandy. Hiku and Dandy are switched, and it's most definitely not game three. Because Dandy's the Ganondorf, Hiku's the Greninja. Honest mishap, would you like to join me on commentary, my good sir? All right. Let's go, Crimson Chin! Uh, so, are, are you going to ever enter a tournament as the Iron Kneecap, but play Golden Falcon? Bronze Kneecap, my apologies. Why did I say Iron? The Bronze Kneecap, that's what I meant. And another question of mine is, is you're using the Dark Falcon, yet at the same time, you're not the Negachin. Alright, so there's. Looks like uh, Scout and Master D are on deck off screen. Uh, oh! Oh, it was just the fan. It was just the fan. Oh my gosh, I just heard something fall. We all snapped our necks. I'm sure one of us has whiplash because of how fast we snapped our necks. Now, I don't have a lot of uh, knowledge on Greninja. Hiku definitely was working on picking him up uh, last that I, I played him. Uh, Greninja, definitely a difficult character to hit due to his low stature and, and just pure speed. He has a lot of combo tools that uh, really com combo into kill confirms. It's very good for him. Uh, Ganondorf, heavy character, uh, gets a lot out of a little, which is something that you will need in this matchup if you're not going to be a very combo heavy character. Uh, Hiku actually sealing out the stock with back air, uh, punishing Ganondorf side B. Uh, he, then Hiku punishing the up smash with a, I think it was a dash attack. Dandy really getting antsy with these smash attacks. Uh, definitely want to see him being more careful. Uh, one thing I noticed he doesn't do that a, a couple other good Ganondorfs that I've played. Uh, he doesn't use up B that much. It's such a good command grab. It does uh, a lot of damage. It does a lot of knockback. You can catch recoveries with it since it has a, like a large grab range. And, uh... Even out of shield, it's a really good option, depending on, uh... Oh, my bad. Even out of shield, it can be a pretty good option uh, for punishing things. And Hiku taking the next stock with Shadow Sneak, of all things. Uh, definitely a difficult move to see when off stage. And uh, Dandy reacting to Hiku's recovery with an up smash, stealing out the stock, even gain. Uh, definitely can go either way, very, very even, these are both very good players. Uh, can't wait to see how uh, Hiku's Greninja uh, evolves over time and gets better. Reading the role with a Shadow Sneak, and I now have a fellow commentator. How are you doing today? Good, how are you? I'm doing alright. So what do you think about this match so far? Eh. Eh? It's actually pretty matched up right now. Yeah, I, I would agree. It is pretty even. Uh, Hiku definitely ledge trapping, or at least covering the options that uh, Danny really wants to take. Risking and challenging the Doria with an air, that's definitely not the safest option. Definitely very gutsy. And there, there goes Dandy. He's trying to use the up B, as I mentioned earlier. Very strong move, but you still got to be somewhat close. But it grabs Ooh, from a surprising difference. Uh, Hiku was dash dancing. And is that it? No. Oh, Hiku had the read. He just didn't dash. And, and Dandy, Dandy with the takes down the smash. Win. Dandy takes the win with a down smash. Bum, bum, bum. Actually, Greninja did pretty good. Oh, yeah. Hiku's uh, Greninja is very, very much improving decently. I did mention earlier it's very hard to hit Greninja. Fast character, very low stature. Just like Pikachu and Pichu, they're really yes, small, uh, so they're really and hard to they're hit. fast. Uh, mm -hmm. Fun fact: uh, when Pichu was nerfed, Pichu is actually now bigger than Pikachu. Huh? I didn't know. So that. if your stuff works on Pichu, uh, for height-wise, uh, it might not work on Pikachu. But if it works on Pikachu, it'll work on Pichu. 
Um, Let's see who Dandy's gonna bring out. Is he gonna stick with the Greninja? Not, not Dandy. Uh, Hiku. Uh, Hiku, my apologies. Or he definitely does have that Roy as well. Looks like he's going okay, he's Greninja. Okay, he's still going Greninja. Now this is losers, correct? Uh. All right. So Hiku's definitely on his tournament game. Uh. Getting a dash attack, however, not uh, getting any of the confirms, which would be a back air afterwards. Down throw forward air from Ganondorf, trying to Ooh, read the up B, getting an early spike. This is definitely a very different game from the first one. Uh, Dandy getting a very early lead. Uh, it looks like Hiku's trying to bring it back uh, slowly but surely. Uh, definitely want to see Hiku play a little bit more patient, as that was what was getting him... Uh, Caught, and it looks like he's doing just that, slowly bringing back. Uh, it's unfortunate. Hiku is reading all these ledge options, but he's not compensating for the roll exactly. And Ganondorf side beat a four tilt, sealing out that stock. And Ganondorf does down tilt to kill Hiku. That was forward tilt. Oh, oh wait, yeah. Oh, you're fine. Uh, Hiku starting to make use of the very, uh, well, uh, how do I word this? Uh, making use of uh, Greninja's forward tilt after uh, not really using it too, too much. It's definitely got really good range. Uh, something I, I want to see Hiku improve on definitely is drag downs uh, with up air. Um, doesn't look like he knows too much about uh, a lot of his confirms. He's pr still probably a little bit new to Greninja. As, uh, as far as I know, he was only just starting in last week. But Once actually, again, having reads, but still not able to get anything off of it. Um, Ganondorf's down B is actually a good stage spiker. Stage spike? Okay. Now, Hiku it's, it's accidentally messed up his up B, which is quite unfortunate. That's two. Darn. Because Luigi... Ooh, and Ganondorf <laughs> goes for the up smash and kills Hiku. <laughs> All right, now Dandy taking it 2-0 over Hiku.